Yesterday was incredibly balmy, sunny, bright, and just amazing. We had temperatures in the upper 60s, much warmer than the previous days, but what was most noteworthy, not just the amount of sunshine, but the lack of wind. It wasn't that nice not to have your, your garbage cans blown over or have your hat blown off. It was a gorgeous day. Here's time lapse showing how amazingly bright and mild yesterday was. Here's the view from uh, CC Heights. If you look closely, you see some clouds, and of course, you see a hot air balloon drifting by there in the distance. That's time lapse from Wednesday with our Lewis Donato camera right now looking at bright imagery. This is the view from along Interstate 90 in Austin, our Lewis Donato camera, and it looks like a bright and pleasant morning. Crisp and cool. You'll need the jacket here for another couple of hours. 43 in Austin right now. Rochester has fallen also into the low 40s, but we have a beautiful sunrise happening on Lake Pepin and in Grand Meadow as well. A lot of sunshine across the board. 67 was the high temperature in Rochester yesterday. Believe it or not, going to be about 10 degrees warmer than that today. A taste of summer uh, for today. It's not going to be like this every day in the coming days, but we're going to have a lot of warmth still in the neighborhood. Today looks to be maybe the warmest of the next several days. We have seen temperatures steadily fall from the 60s now to the 40s. And from here, we'll turn things around pretty quickly with the help of a slight southwest breeze and a lot of sunshine. 42 right now in Rochester, Austin 43. Osage 41, Mesa City on the cool side. It's 38 there. That's the lone holdout in the 30s at this hour. Rochester 42 feels like 36. The winds are fairly light coming out of the south at 10 miles per hour. A fairly light or at least a tolerable breeze, a tolerable breeze around 15 miles per hour. Not powerful, but maybe a little more noticeable than yesterday. And that's going to help transport some of that warmth into the area. Isolated showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder happening over the next couple of days. Not the entire time, though. None of those uh, upcoming days will be a, a washout, but there will be some rain chances after today. Showers right now regionally confined to parts of Wisconsin ahead of an area of low pressure. There's a cold front with that that's draped across the region to our north. We're going to stay on the warm side of the fence as that system, that front actually holds up for a little bit longer. That warmth will build in, and that's what we're talking at summer warmth today. 42 in Rochester, Des Moines 48. It's 56 in Sioux Falls. We're on our way to about 77. Plenty of sunshine throughout the day. Just a few thin clouds in the afternoon. Went from the southwest. Becoming westerly later on around 12 miles per hour. 77 today. Sunset at 816. So 70s today this evening. If you're thinking outdoor plans, gorgeous evening to do anything outside. 60s and 70s. Temperatures ease back into the 50s around midnight and eventually come to rest in the upper 40s. Uh, future track, a dry sun filled day today. A couple showers to the west. Let's try to sneak in. That's going to happen after midnight. Just for a couple of hours. Maybe a Brief shower tomorrow and until the mid-morning hours. Showers then lift northward until we see another batch of activity. Another little disturbance lighting riding along that front to our west. Comes in for the late afternoon and evening hours tomorrow. Parts of Saturday, maybe a brief shower very early. Another chance by evening, but in, in between, we'll have some breaks of sunshine. And then heading into Sunday, some sun at times. A couple of showers will also rotate into that system. So maybe a little bit of rain over the next three or four days. Totals may reach an inch or more, but not heavy rain, considering as many rain chances as we have, it won't be necessarily heavy rain that we're experiencing. Sunny today. Upper 70s, keeping in mind that 63 is the seasonal average. Rochester 77, Mason City 80. Tomorrow, a little cooler with extra clouds and a couple of showers, but still mild. 69 Dodge Center and 72 in Decorah. And those rain chances will be across the map in the coming days, but the lower half of that scale is nothing extremely widespread, nothing severe at this as it stands right now. The temperatures all over the next week, all uh, above average. Uh, 60s to low 70s, so certainly mild for early to mid-May. 77 today, a taste of early June with this type of weather. Southwest winds. 5 to 15 miles per hour. 48 tonight after midnight, a shower or thunderstorm is possible. A seven day forecast, a couple of rounds of showers tomorrow. Also, some sun and small doses of rain in the coming days, but it looks incredibly mild. Uh, more late May than early May with this weather, Jess. Yeah, today Mother Nature's making up for that clunker she gave us on Sunday. It was, yeah, the last weekend wasn't so great, so it looks better ahead of us. It sure does. Thank you. It is 6 